Good evening, everybody, again. And maybe after today, from what they're saying, they'll be opening up a few places. So just maybe we'll be able to have church here in a few more days. Get everybody in here. I know they're going to need preaching to after being out this long. You know, it takes the word to keep us straight. And I don't know about everybody else, but I need it myself. Amen. But I want to read something here. We're going to get into something we was in last service. And it's marriage and divorce. And there's so many that does not want that message. And several things that I mentioned last week, their words are all the time. We believe everything Brother Brown said, and you have to do that. But when I listen to them, and the things that I can open and read, not add one word to it, just read it from the book, seems like they don't believe it. Amen. So there's something wrong if, and I think that's a lot of so many groups that say they're following the message, and none of them can get along. And we know what's happened to several message groups have busted up and split. But if we do what the prophet said, every one of them will be saying the very same thing. Amen. And it'd be nothing to worry about. But I want to read something here in the book, The Easter Seal, on page 34 before I go to the seal book. And listen to what he said, and this is pertaining to marriage and divorce and several different things. And this was preached in 65. That's what I'm in Arizona for right now. There are many people sitting right here, stood right here at Phoenix, and heard me tell, from, tell you from this very platform, thus saith the Lord, said how many remembers it? Something is fixing to happen. I saw seven angels didn't Life Magazine pack it as the fog of it floated across here, 27 miles high, 30 miles across? Fred Sopman and some of the others, Gene Norman sitting back there, stood right there when them seven angels appeared, right there on the hill. It shook the hill for miles around like that. There stood seven angels. Throw the sword in your hand. Say, go home, open the seven seals that are given, and here they are, the true mystery of marriage and divorce, and the servant seed, and all the things that's been fussed about, it's thus saith the Lord. Amen. Now, say, you mean they fussed about it? Well, they still fuss about it. When you mention marriage and divorce, I don't know of too many message fathers that even believe that. And I want to get back into the book where I was at the other day and read some things here that I don't see how in the world we could get around it. And listen to this prophet with this message saying it's thus saith the Lord. And if it's thus saith the Lord all the way through, how can we add to it or take away from it? Amen. Why would we even want to do that? And I've marked several things that sometimes I try to go by when we don't have but an hour here. And the prophet on page 14, <clears throat> now I want to make this way, some of the new books that they put out has a different page, but it's the same word, but they just change the pages a little bit. So I want you to remember, I've had that to happen right here, and I'll go ahead and say it, so you at home, if you got your book, you look long enough, you'll find what I'm saying in that book if it's the one the prophet preached. And somebody here had a newer book, <coughs> excuse me, and sitting back here in the audience showing somebody that didn't know much about it, said, see here, he's not on the right page. It's not what he's saying. But if it had just turned over a couple pages, they'd have the very same thing I say. Right. 
Amen. So we don't need no hypocrites pulling something like that. So if you're at home, and I know people have made remarks about me, some of my own family, and said, well, you better believe everything Brother Branham said, but he's not down there preaching everything Brother Branham said. What he preaching, he didn't say it. Well, I challenge them. It's easy to go behind a man's back and say things, but bring the word. Stand in front of me. How many times have I said this? Stand in front of me with this word, and if you can find out saying one thing in here that he didn't say, I'll get out and quit. But I know what I'm talking about because it's already spoke by the prophet, and it's just said for the Lord all the way through. Amen. So I want to read on page 14 in my book, in the book, if you've got them at home and you're listening to this, you'll find it in there, if it's, even if it's on another page. The Bible said, we have also two thoughts of this marriage and divorce. Now that our Lord has opened the seven seal mystery of His Word, what did we just read a while ago? How many believe He revealed all the mysteries that was hid all these years? Amen. Is that when you got married and divorced? Then were all these preachers that say we believe every word you see. If they can come and stand beside of me and let me read this word or preach it like I do right here, let them stand beside of me and when I say something, say, no, he didn't say it. They have that much of a chance to do it. But I don't think they will. Because when you got the word laid here, if they're looking at the same thing, they can't say, well, he didn't say it. So this is the way I look at it. If that prophet said it, and they say, well, he didn't say it, then they're calling him a liar. <clears throat> because he did say it. Amen. And if it's wrote in the book, we need to take every word that prophet said. Amen. Now, many of you might, this might be Greek to you, but my church, he's talking about the group that follows him, to what he said, they will understand it. When you've heard of the visions and what's taking place, the question is a Bible question. We're invited here to believe there must be a true answer to the whole hidden secret that's been hid since the foundation of the world. And the Bible prophesied and said that in that day, these secrets would be made known, Revelations and 10. Now, do we believe that? Do we believe that these mysteries have been revealed? Amen. Well, then, what the people, now here's where a lot of them want to go. And I forget the name of the book I was reading this week. The prophet said, now you go back and get the tapes. And every year, watch how that word gets plainer and plainer and plainer. Amen. Because it's God fulfilling his word and not just fulfilling, bringing it to pass. Amen. So, a lot of them said, well, <clears throat> Brother Branham celebrated Christmas, so I'm going to celebrate. You can do what you want to. But I'm going to take what he said, that it was time for even him and all of us that believe the word to get away from it. Amen. It's nothing but a pagan worship. Amen. And a real child of God is not going to have anything to do with a pagan worship. Amen. Amen. So that's why I stand. On marriage and divorce, the same thing. A lot of them go back and get a message called the 70 weeks of Daniel. Daniel 70 weeks, I believe how it's worded in the book. And they'll say, well, he said here, we know polygamy is wrong. But what did he say after that? After these seals come open? Yeah. Now, he's not going to contradict the thing, but he said, get the tapes and listen how he gets plainer and plainer and more to the word all the time. Amen. Now, we know he was called to go around the world, do the work, of an evangelist. For the time will come, and it come, they will not endure sound doctrine. Amen. That hour has come. Amen. This message right here proves part of that. Everything you said, and when you hear all of them say it, well, there can't be no seven thunders. Did you call the prophet? A lie. That's pretty flat, but that's all we can call it. Because he said there would be seven thunders. Amen. And when you say there can't be, then you're going to get him, not Elwood Gallimore. You're going again to the prophet that spoke these words. Amen. And again, just like marriage and divorce, any of them that wants to come and stand with me, 
I'll let them get to a book and stand beside of it. In front of as many as they want to. And let me go through there and read that about the thunders. Let them say he didn't say it. So if they're looking at the book and hearing what is going on and see it themselves, then who is it they're calling a liar? Not Brother Gallimore, but the word which has already been spoken. But I'm going to stand on it. I made that plain last week and it got pretty rough. But I'm here and I believe with all my heart this message that's been here. And just like the thunders, the prophet said, somebody asked him, had the thunder been revealed? He said, the seventh angel messenger reveals all of this. And that's what the whole seven seal book was about. Was seven thunders. Amen. So if he revealed that, why can't they accept that? Say, but if he revealed it, what else is to be said? Well, read the book and we'll find out what's got to be said. Amen. I know a lot of them said, well, we can't add to it or take away. Well, we're not adding to it or taking away. When he said there was a special angel, a strange angel, in this pyramid, he meant there was a strange angel there. Well, it has to be revealed somewhere down the line. Amen. Now, we know in the church ages, he was revealed as Son of God, the Holy Spirit, discerning the thoughts of things that was in the heart. At the end of the church age, they're over, they're dead and gone. So we're not even preaching to them now. They're gone to start with. But message believers, that's out here hollering, we are the message, we are the message. Well, if you're the message, it's all the same thing. Not chopped up in a thousand different pieces. But how sad it is to be here now and hear all these preachers saying these things and about marriage and divorce and we are the message preachers if they all open the book Amen. get the same thing that I got laid here in front of me don't add to it, don't take away from it so when he says these things about the thunders why don't we accept that? when he says it about this marriage and divorce and as long as you say marriage and divorce they don't have any problem with it but you mentioned a couple things you said in there like polygamy and they're ready to throw you away. Amen. Don't want nothing to do with you. But this is God's word from beginning to the end. Amen. So what, what, what's causing this? There has to be a message that stands somebody to stand on every word that prophecy. And if that is so in this hour, how many have told me brother it wasn't in the book Well. Brother Brown said polygamy was right. And they even said, went to Florida and say, I can show you where he said polygamy was wrong in the book. Well, the challenge is still out there. They cannot do it. But I can open it to show you what I'm preaching is already wrote right here. Amen. So who are we going to believe? Where are we going to stand that? Don't worry about the man. Just listen to the word. And I believe with all my heart, this is fixing to hit wide open out here. Amen. Amen. If he revealed himself as son of God, in the church ages. And we know at the end of that, we got the word to back it up. Oh, I got a book right here, Unveiling God, that will back this up 100%. He revealed himself as son of man, the prophet, while that prophet was here on earth. Well, do we believe that part? If he revealed himself as son of God, we understand that. He revealed himself as son of man, we believe that. The believers do. Well, what about this part about Son of David? Amen. That has to be brought to the people. Amen. He'll reveal himself as Son of David to set up in the millennium for a thousand years right there with the bride. Amen. Amen. Now, does that have to be revealed? Amen. We know who the Son of Man was. It was the prophet. We know what it was in the church age with the Holy Spirit. But does the Son of David have to be revealed? Amen. Then, does somebody got to bring that out just like the prophet said right here, and it point right to him sitting there as son of David in the millennium. Amen. So that's where we're at. That's what I hope we're living in. And I don't know about you. I don't want to come up, as the prophet said, to the promised land, to the line where we're at, and look over and say, no, I'm not going. Is that what happened in the years past? Amen. The prophet said, they come up and seen the promised land. Looked over there and refused to accept the word and go on. You know what happened to them? They died right there believing Moses was a prophet. Amen. Now, everything that says I believe Brother Brown was a prophet don't mean they're taking the word because we got the evidence they're not doing it. Amen. 
Amen. But I believe God's going to bring some people out on the scene that are not educated at all, don't understand too much, but they got the Word in them. And there's no way that anybody can stand in front of them like they have said, will do, they will not do it. I challenge them to come and do it. Amen. They're not going to do it. They're not afraid of me. Here's what they're afraid of. Amen. So I would stand with any preacher out there in your platform or in my platform. Take the same book that I'm holding and I'll just say what I'm saying right here and let's see what you do. Amen. If you can't take that word, you're lost. Amen. You cannot be a bride. But I believe with all my heart in revealing itself right now as son of David to that bride. Amen. Because there is a thousand years of millennium out here. I hope we all believe that. And if it is, that part has to be fulfilled. Amen. Well, the Father said that millennium is what? The honeymoon. Amen. So before we can go on the honeymoon, we've got to be married to Him. What is He? He's the Word. Do we not know what the Word is in this day? Amen. Now, if the coming of the Lord is in the mystery, they don't understand it. They would not understand these seven thunders because they are connected to the coming of the Lord. Amen. So, is that what we're saying that today? Amen. Now, listen closely. And I go through some of these things, and it will, I'll just tell you now, it's going to get rough. And it has right here. And some of them that come to church is what I'm saying. I'm glad you're getting that over before we get back in there. But you never know when a man might preach. Amen. Might preach it three weekends in a row or something like So where, where are we at now? Amen. Think about it. Now I'm going to read several paragraphs here. And some of these words get flat, but it's like the prophet said. You listen to your doctor. So listen to this message. Now, let me just go ahead and get the ones right in under here. I think I'm going to have to back back over here a minute. Jesus said, and I hope that they listen close, go back to the beginning. There was only one power of anything on earth. They were, there was one Adam, one Eve. They were joined by God alone. One female horse, one male. One female pirate, one male. At the beginning. But anybody that listen to this know it's not that way out there now. Amen. It goes completely against nature in the day we're living in. At the beginning, as he told us, go back, there was only one part of anything. Then we find out everything in the beginning was running in perfect harmony, order and harmony with God. Nothing was out of care. Everything in heaven is still in order. The stars, the galaxies, the solar system, everything perfectly in order. One of them moved, interrupt the whole program. Well, is that what happened here on earth? Yeah. One woman made the wrong move and listened to the wrong fella and it throw death on all of us that's here on this earth right now. Yeah. Would not be a graveyard if it hadn't been for a woman. Yeah. Would be nobody dying, nobody sick if it hadn't been for a woman that made the mistake. Yeah. And I know people don't like to hear that because the first thing that hits them when you preach this message, we're equal with a man. You can't. No, you're not. By God's word, you are not equal with a man. I know this may not go good out there, but something's going to hit this world wide open before long. Amen. And the women have took the world over. And you know that I'm telling you the truth. Amen. Just watch the news. But something's going to put them in their place. Amen. And how it won't put them in their place, it's going to take them out here. Because if they're not in their place, I just don't believe they're going to get there now. Amen. That is hard. And a scary thing to say. Amen. But we have heard it for years. Amen. Line up. Because one day you take one step too far. Amen. Amen. So what will that word do that's here now? Will it take us to the millennium? Or will we go right into the tribulation period? Amen. Think about these things. Have we been stubborn and hard-headed all these years? God's long-suffering. But people are so hard-headed to prophecy. In this day, I don't have to do it. No, you don't. You have a choice, just like Eve had. Mm -hmm. And we say, well, blame it on Eve. No, you blame it on you in this day. Mm -hmm. The Bible said, women, you got the same choice that she had. Either live the Word or not live the Word. Mm -hmm. And if you don't live it, it's nothing but death and there ain't no other way to put it. Mm -hmm. 
anything against that word is anti-Christ. So there's nothing going into the millennium but the word. Nothing. Now, then it was not. It was the woman that caused the separation of the lovely home. It was not a cherubim that bothered the earth. It was not Adam that threw the home out. It was not anything else that threw the home out and threw the whole thing out of continuity but a woman. Amen. And here, it is here that the beginning Jesus spoke of was broke. At the beginning, God just made one male, one female. Now, he's just getting started in this message. What's the point that he's getting to right here in about every page? One male, one female, in the beginning. But then all as we go through here, he said that covenant was broke. Amen. So God had to make another covenant. Amen. And when he did, the one covenant was for the man, another covenant for the woman. Amen. What was the first covenant? Every one of us can read it right here. One and one. Amen. What was that? All right, two preachers, that's out there listening. They say, no, he didn't preach it. Well, then, you're reading the wrong book. You're listening to the wrong people. Man. Somebody is going to give you that word. Now, I believe the prophet gave it to us, and I'm going to throw it out there because people don't like it. He's got seven governors on earth that's going to say word for word what that prophet said, and they will take the bride to the millennium. Man. I believe that with all my heart. Because I believe right now, he's not revealing himself a son of man. He's already done that. Man. Son of man has come. He's done gone. But he's here now, revealing himself to that bride as son of David. And if he's not doing it in your congregation, you're in the wrong congregation. Amen. Do we know who the son of David is? Amen. I believe with all my heart we know it. Amen. Now, if she broke her covenant with her husband, she broke her covenant with God. Then because she broke the covenant with God, she broke it with her husband. Now how important is that? But does it bother women in this thing? There's the scary part. Yeah. Does it make them even stop and think? The prophet said, now do you see what I mean? <laughs> now we see it then that the continuity is broken. The lifeline was broken. The timeline was broken. The covenant was broken. Everything was shattered. What caused it? A woman. Amen. Now I'm going to ask you, do y'all think this is going to be good going out here in the world? And all what we... Whether we want to believe it or not, it's got to hit out there sooner or later. Amen. Right. How long it would take for this to just ease out? I don't know, but when it does, you talk about stirring up some things. Amen. But I believe the good part about it is somebody backing it up, and it's not a man. Amen. It's God backing this message up. Amen. Now, that's what broke the covenant. And if you want to read it, it's in Genesis 3. It was then, here comes the killer. Even the people that know the message and has heard this message for years now. It was then man was made to rule over the woman by God's word. Amen. See, it's not just you you sitting here cheering this. You just think of who all going to hear this. Amen. What's going to happen to them? And we've been told these things are going to start. It can't just keep going on. Rule over the woman by God's word, not by the laws of the land. Right. Now, if you preacher that say you believe that, yeah, the man's the ruler of his own. Well, it wasn't in the beginning. So why would you throw polygamy away? Yeah. You don't add that. Yeah. You go in here and pick out what you want, throw the rest of it away. Yeah. Say what the Bible said yeah. all the way through here. She's no more co-equal with him. She was co-equal in nature, but when she broke God's word, God made a man to be a ruler over her. Genesis 3 and 16, if you want to put it down. She was no more, no more, no more co-equal with the man. Amen. Now, why did she do such a thing, being in this high order? She was right with the man, co-equal with him. But all know now that she lost her co-equalness with man when she sinned and God said man will be your ruler from here on out. Now that is the scripture. Amen. That is the word. So is all the rest of this book. So preachers quit running and hiding. 
trying to say that, that he didn't breach this. Somebody, go, now here's the good part. And I feel him only when I say these things. Here's the good part. They've been arguing all these years out there. But I believe something's fixing right on the scene. And they're not just going to hear it, but God's going to back it up that he, he went that message. Amen. Not somebody that denies it, Amen. but they're going out there. And just like God confirmed that prophet, He's going to confirm these seven thunders. I believe it with all my heart Amen. that they have the message for this hour. Amen. What is that message? The message William Murray and Brian left here for a group called the Bride. Why? They're taking the message. They're not going to never look and say, well, I can't preach this. No, no, I can't. He didn't preach polygamy. Well, what books are you reading? Yeah. What tapes are you listening to? And I've had people just sitting and pay, play the tape for that. Yeah. And say, did you hear that? And they said, I still don't believe it. So it didn't matter if he said it or I said it. They're not going to believe it anyhow. Right. Then I had some, and I'm going to make it plain for people that's watching by television out here. I had some to come down here to in-laws. When all of this was against me, over marriage and divorce, and stand out here on the parking lot after I preached that night, and stand out there and say, that was not Brother Brown in the book you was reading out there. Now, why did they make a statement like that? They know that that was that book that the prophet left here. What I was saying was the truth. So all they could say, that wasn't his message, that different book you was reading out there. Well, I know better. You know better. So what's going to happen out here? He's going to back this message up. Amen. Who is? God's going to back it up. Why? It's His Word. Amen. No man is going to have to make them understand what He said. They're going to lay the Word out there, and then God's going to stand behind that. That's right. And I believe, and I've said it before, if you think there's thunders in the land, oh, we better get behind it. Amen. They've got a job to do, and they're going to do it. Amen. God has unspoken. Now, remember, Adam was both masculine and feminine. In the original. One. But then he was separated by a rib. And notice the only one of all God's creation. Every animal. Everything else. She was the only one designed this way. Every other female was in the original creation. But Eve was not. So that had to be made that way. We'll get to that after a while. Now. In the beginning, the prophet said, even the animals, it was the male and his mate. Yeah. And I think every one of them preachers will have to agree with that. Amen. But we also go a step further now with this revelation that the prophet put here. He changed that covenant. Amen. And the first covenant was one and one. So if he changed it, it can't be one and one no more. It's got to be a different number there. Amen. So it's one and Many. Amen. And we're going to get it on over here. Notice. I don't want to miss nothing here. That there's nothing designed to be so deceitful as a woman. That is deceitful. There cannot be nothing else. There's nothing made that way. There's nothing that can be so easily deceived as a woman. The fall proved this statement. Now, even when I'm preaching this, I feel spirits. Because when this hits out here, oh, you're talking about Amen. something coming again. Amen. And I sit here and preach this for years, and you still feel them spirits. When you preach this, why? The devil don't like this. Amen. He don't want people to hear it. There's nothing designed to stoop so low and filthy but a woman. Amen. 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 A dog can't do it. Think about that. A hog can't do it. A bird can't do it. A female hog can't be immoral. A female dog can't be immoral. A bird can't be immoral. A woman is the only thing that can do it. So do we see where Satan went? Amen. Is he still, the Bible said, and you're still working on him today? Well, I believe that. I believe he is. Now, God looks at character. Man looks at natural beauty. It's deceiving. And that's why a woman was given that beauty for deception to deceive. A beautiful woman, if she don't use it in the right way, 
it's a curse to her. Amen. That will send her to hell quicker than anything else I know of. She could be pretty sure as long as she stayed with her husband and does what's right and that's the that's fine and dandy. But she can't take that she can take that same thing and my how she can deceive with it. Amen. Is that what's happened in this day? Amen. Amen. Now, let me turn over here a few pages. I'm trying to get to the high spot right here. What is a lie? I want to make sure I'm not missing none of the most important parts to try to get this in on this hour. What is a lie? The truth, perverted. What is adultery? The right act, perverted. There's a whole perverted creature. There's a perverted whole thing. And the whole thing is spell sin. S-I-N. Laying right there. That's why the question is so great. Only a piece of scrap made of a man to deceive him by. Right here has proved it. Now, do you believe that prophet? Amen. Amen. Do we really believe what he's saying? Amen. Lord. Where do the deceivers at? What happened in the Garden of Eden? And then the old woman, these are hard, but i got to put this paragraph in there. The prophet didn't pull back, and I'm not going to pull back on it. There's something that has to bust this world wide open, and Lord, what would this one do? Amen. And then the old woman is the lowest thing that can be thought of. Excuse this young lady. She's nothing but a human garbage can and a sex explosion. Amen. That's rough, but we know what he's talking about. That's all she is. An immoral woman is a human sexual garbage can. Where pollution, where filthy, dirty, honorary, low down filth is disposed by her. What's she made this way for? For deception. And every sin that was ever on the earth was called by that woman. Amen. This is a hard message. But I believe what we have been through because of this message. This is what's going to hit them out here now, but it's a different hour we're living in. It's about time to go home. And if we got the word, don't fear. Amen. Fear not. Why? The word is what's going to take the enemy off of this land and give it back to the ones that God got it for. Did he get it for us? Amen. We had the deed in our hand. Amen. And anything like I'm reading right here is not going into that land. Amen. Glory. All right. Now, she was made to the seed like she did Adam at the beginning. Telling him the fruit was blessed and so forth. To deceive him. Take him away from the word. That's the way the church does today. Same thing. But then after that, he become her ruler to rule over her. Most of them don't even want that. Let alone believe me. I would say in the whole world, nine, more than 90, well, I'd say 99.9% .9 women rule the home. Amen. Now I'm going to ask you, is that again God's work? Amen. Then the Antichrist is riding and riding hard. Amen. Amen. And anything anti which is against God is not going over there. Amen. 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 Right. Is it scary? Amen. Is this the hour we're living in? Amen. Amen. All right. What a difference in this day. This day of conception. Instead of him being her ruler, she becomes his God. She rules him. Amen. It don't hurt a woman to tell a man, I'll tell him what to do. But you better not tell them they're wrong. You might as well smack them right in the face. I can expect you to get quiet today, nine people out here. But. You might as well smack one in the face because I'm preaching no telling how many out here right now. Amen. As to tell them not to do something. Or to even mention that they're wrong. While their face turns red, they'll come at you like a bulldozer. Amen. Why? That spirit that's on them. They'll never, and it makes you wonder, will they ever become that little humble bride that the prophet preaches about so much? Amen. There's some on earth somewhere. Amen. But where are they at? 
stand up and stomp the book, lay you out, tell you off, that is not the bride of Christ that I'm talking about right here. Amen. That is not the word. Amen. 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 All right. Everybody probably, when they hear this along television, they'll be saying, man, I hope we don't open up no time soon. But the message don't change it no matter how long we've been out here. Amen. Amen. Right. Glory. Satan did. He is sent to deceive sons of God. And she can sway more of them to hell than any other instrument Satan's got. Talking about them more woman now, not you sisters, will give you your place, right place, in a few minutes. Does it? Amen. That's what we're coming up to here now. And that's what people, the prophet said right on the next page here. Now, if you'll get the picture, we'll introduce something just in a few minutes. Turn on over. Here comes the hard parts. And if you believe all that that I just read, him being the ruler, God made it that way. The woman still has to, in sorrow, bring children into the earth. It's still here, so the curse has not been lifted. It has not been changed. But they want to go in there and say, oh yeah, I think the man ought to be the head at home. The woman still has to bring children into the earth in sorrow and in pain. But when it comes to polygamy, no, he took that out. You do not believe that message. Amen. Amen. And that's hard for a preacher to say, but if he's called of God, he won't back up, he'll say it just like that prophecy. Amen. Amen. That's right. Notice, he made her for the man, not the man for her. Amen. That's a killer. Didn't know? Didn't you know that? That woman was made for man and not the man for the woman? The Bible teaches it. She was given a place in man before the fall. Before the fall. Equal over all creation. But after the fall, here we bring the subject up. After the fall, he was her ruler. She must keep silent in all matters. Amen. Amen. Find one that'll do it. Amen. They're not going to do it. If they, get, if they think you're even trying to tell them you shouldn't do that or you're wrong to do that, they're not going to say, oh, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have done it. And respect the Lord. Glory. Oh, it's getting quiet. Amen. But they'll find something to come back at with you if they have to make up something. Listen, I'm going to get you back. Amen. That's not a child of God. Amen. This is getting rough, I know. I feel it. Amen. But that is not a child of God. Because how many believe he's the Word? Amen. Is this the Word right here? Amen. And if he's in you, how can what's in you go again? Amen. 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 Who's the ruler over that woman? Amen. Amen. The man. Amen. Who made it that away? God. God. Did they accept that? No. Lord. But somebody has got to do it. Amen. Amen. But the Bible said it would be only a handful. Amen. I don't know about you. But I want to be one of that handful. Amen. Amen. Glory. Now, after the beginning, after time began, back in that was eternity, it was over, but after the fall was made by Eve, after the fall there was need to be another covenant made. After the fall. Now this is going to stumble you. And boy did it. You know a lot of them still stumble? Amen. All these years, the Bible's been gone 50 some years, and they're still stumbling over it? Amen. Another page or two over, he said, now this is going to shock you. Well, some of them still in shock. Amen. They can't get out of it. Amen. They look at you like, what are you saying? Where did this come from? Right here is what it come from. Amen. This didn't come from Elwood Gallimore. Amen. And somebody, the prophet said one day, God will take me from the desert. Because this message I have left here has to live, has Amen. to come to life. Amen. Well, what they have? We believe the prophet. Then live what he told you to live. Amen. Believe what he preached. Amen. It's one thing just sitting holler as a prophet. It's another thing to believe everything you see. Amen. And if you believe everything you see, just open that seal book, and especially go to the seventh seal. And if you believe what he said, you're going to believe everything I'm preaching right now. Because it's already wrote. Now, 
Notice, Jesus said, at the beginning, God made one of a kind. Here he is again, one and one. What is he doing? Building up to something. One place here he said, I just read it, I think, we'll introduce something here after a while. Do we know what he introduced? Amen. Amen. It was something the world knew nothing about. Now, why would that probably have to preach that before he left here? It's God's Word. Amen. Amen. And that message right there will send more people out into the tribulation here because they're not going to listen to it. Right. Not just the polygamy part, the women being silent. They're not going to listen to it. Amen. Glory. I can't make nobody live this. All I can do is preach it. Amen. Amen. Glory. So where are we saying that right now in this hour? Amen. Are we feeling good? Well, I'm going to the believe, or is the message still just cutting us to pieces? Glory. Think about it. God at the beginning made one of a kind. But now, after the fall, we're going beyond that. The covenant was co equal. But now, after the fall, there is another covenant made. She would no more rule with him. They must have a separate covenant. Then the prophet reads the scripture there in Genesis 3. And I'll, we all know what that said, how he cursed the serpent. Then the women, I'll greatly multiply thy sorrow and conception. And in sorrow shalt thou bring forth children, and thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. Amen. That's God's word. Amen. And if they don't believe that, they don't believe the message. Amen. They don't believe the Bible. Unto Adam he said, because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife, there were so many makes a mistake today. Amen. And has eaten of the tree of which I commanded thee, saying, Thou shalt not eat. Cursed be the ground. Not cursed Adam, cursed be the ground. Why? If he had cursed Adam, he had cursed his own sake. Amen. For thy sake, in sorrow shalt thou eat of it in all the days of thy life. Thorns and thistles shall it bring forth to thee. And thou shalt eat the herbs of the field. And in the sweat of your face, lazy men, that don't want to work and provide for your families. Amen. That's God's word. Amen. Amen. In the sweat of thy face shalt thou eat bread till thou returns to the ground. And out of it was thou taken, for dust thou art, and dust shalt thou return. Amen. So what are we all? A big ball of dirt. Amen. No other way to look at it. But oh, I hope it's something on the inside. Amen. Amen. Lord. It's something on the it's a spirit on the inside of every person on the face of this earth. Amen. And if the spirit of God's in there, you cannot go again. Amen. God don't go again his own word. Amen. Lord. Two covenants. Now, I'm getting up here pretty close, and I see I'm not going to even finish this today. I had some more stuff I wanted to get to. Listen, preachers, that closes the beginning of what Jesus said, not Elwood. It wasn't so at the beginning. We've got another covenant now. Notice, another covenant now. He says it again. Amen. There's a covenant for the product, that is, the man, and the byproduct, that is, the woman. Ah, uh, that don't go over good. The fall brought trouble, death to every creature of the creation, making a difference in all nature. Amen. Not just the human being. Amen. Even the animals. Amen. They're living like God set it in order. Amen. They did before the fall. They are after the fall. Amen. But who is it never wants to accept God's way on it? The human being. Amen. Lord. Now, let us notice what Jesus said. From the beginning, it wasn't so. It is now. It is after the beginning. Now there's a double covenant. First, but just a covenant. Adam and Eve was co-equal. Here it is. One man, one woman. Now the woman sinned. What did she do? That threw them all to death. And God had to make a covenant. By that, another covenant. Here it is right here in Genesis he made another covenant. Amen. Amen. Now all you people that's listening to this, get your book. And don't say Gallimore's making this up. I challenge you on this. Amen. It's the hour. I have 
been tortured, tormented for years over this message. But he's fixing to confirm it to be the truth. Amen. Amen. That's right. I didn't back up. I'll never back up. That's right. But he's going to back it up 100%. Amen. Glory. If he's got messengers here that's going to say what that prophet said, and you got thousands, on top of thousands, that Hollywood will preach in the message. We believe everything he said. We're right here to prove they don't believe it. Amen. It's proof they don't believe seven thunders. It's proof that a lot of them don't even believe Joseph is a prophet. But the God of heaven said he was a prophet. Amen. That's right. And he don't send prophets in vain. Right. Now, let me see one minute. Now notice, from the beginning, it's now, and there was a double covenant made. One man was the first covenant. Adam and Eve was co-equal. How I many of those are not equal now? Amen. Then where's your message at, preachers? Yeah. Now, the world is to be repopulated, not by the original creation of God, like in the beginning, but by sex desire. And everybody listen knows that's the truth. That's how life is brought into the earth today. Amen. By sex desire, not the original creation. Amen. Then why, when it comes to believe me, do you want to throw that out the door and run sideways with it? Amen. He just said, I'm going to say, it's a bunch of hypocrites that does not want what that prophet left here. Amen. Amen. Right. They want to grab the books and run and holler, oh, I believe he was a prophet. I'm saying what he said. No, you're not saying what he said. Amen. Right. You're saying part of what he said. Amen. But a real child of God will take every word God said, bar none of them. Amen. Amen. All right. Now what? Now that takes care of the beginning. In the beginning, there was one man and one woman. One male, one female. But when she crossed that line, bought their sin, now the world is repopulated again by sex, not by creation. See the world of woman's at now? Amen. But that's the way the world's repopulated. It's through the woman. That's the reason Jesus had to come through the woman to bring it back to the original beginning again. Now there's some hypocrite preachers and I've got a book for one of them and I keep it because I'm not going to let them get away from it. Said this is what happened. Jesus come to redeem us back so the pilgrim is gone. Well, sex is still here. Amen. The woman still had children in sorrow and pain. Amen. So that means the man is still ruler over her. Amen. And that means polygamy is still here. Right. And a few pages over, the prophet said, did you see now the sex law by polygamy? Lord. Then how are you going to get rid of it? You can't. Amen. Amen. But when we get over there, we'll go back. She'll be equal with that man again. Amen. Amen. But not in this life we're living in. Amen. So if you can't get where the word put you now, you'll never make it over there. Amen. Amen. Lord. That's not my word. That's his word. Amen. You're either getting your place here in how many years? My dad preached this. I've been here for 30 years or better now. I have preached it. I wonder how many women have even took one step. Yeah. Glory. Yeah. Thank God. Yeah. I know the 40 years or better just been preaching this building right here. Yeah. How many women have went one step yeah. towards lining up with this message? Amen. Glory. Silent in all matters. Obeying the husband. Amen. 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 Alright, there's a lot of things to be said right there. Let's get with it again. I don't want to miss not one word here. He come to bring it back to the original beginning. Without sex desire. Well, I'm going to ask you. Are we there yet? No. And every one of us know it. Amen. Right. He's virgin born. But hallelujah, that will come a time where won't be no more sex. God shall call his children from the dust of the earth back like it was in the original, not through any woman, but through the molding of the clay 
the cosmic light patrol you, he'll create again like he did Adam at the first time. Amen. Amen. Adam didn't come by sex. Right. Neither did Eve. Yeah. And that's what was introduced in the Garden of Eden. Amen. Sex. That's the original sin. Amen. And this world is absolutely corrupt. Amen. Amen. Right. Now, you see, after the beginning, it was something that was introduced. Do we know what he's saying there? If it's something we've been seeing all these years, he wouldn't have to introduce it to us. But this is a mystery to come when the seals come open. Amen. So he said, now I'm going to introduce you to this. It's up to you whether you accept it or not. Amen. Amen. Right. Now how many preachers are going to run sideways? Why? They're afraid of their crowd. And most of them are afraid of their wives. Amen. Amen. Right. They'll listen to the wife before they listen to this. They'll let a wife tell them all, I won't do this. Shut your mouth. Don't talk to me like that. Glory. They'll let him have it. Yeah. But if there's something inside of you that I'm reading about right here, you couldn't do that. Amen. The minute you started it, it would condemn you right there. Amen. And you say, honey, I'm so sorry. Even if you're wrong, I shouldn't have done that. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. Oh. Amen. All right. This is going to shock you. And you people watching out here, you're still in shock. Yeah. 50 some years he's been gone, you're still in shock right now. Yeah. Yeah. Glory. Are you ready? I'm reading his words here. Are you tired? Sit still just a little longer. When this double covenant was made, by man and woman through sex. Another covenant all together. Not the original. But another covenant. What was the first one? I'm going to ask you that before I read the rest of this. One and one. Amen. Now what's introduced? Polygamy in all. Amen. And when somebody says, Oh, you can't believe in polygamy in this thing. Then you don't believe the message. Amen. 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 That's right. No other way to put it. And I know they're going to be flipping through this thing and listen and say, wait, listen to what he's saying. If you don't believe this, you don't believe the message. Amen. 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 Glory. What's introduced? Polygamy and all. Polygamy was introduced in both man and beast after the beginning. Amen. Glory. After the fall. God now, not me, God now sets a new nature again by sex. Amen. God created the first without that. Do you believe it? Now it's another covenant with nature. He sets it in another order by sex. The second covenant, that's what we're living. One male, many females. Amen. Right. Who set it in order? God set it in order. Amen. Amen. Who don't want the message in this day? Some backslidden preachers don't want it. But most of the women don't want nothing to do with it. Amen. Amen. Right. It don't matter what God said, just like in the Garden of Eden, it don't matter what God said, this sounds better over here. Amen. Right. I think I'd rather listen to this. Well, you'll be the more ever you listen to the people like that. Amen. Glory. If you listen to the devil, you know where you're going to be. Amen. But if you listen to God, you go right here and see eternal life. Amen. Amen. Glory. That's the only way you'll ever make it. Amen. The seal book right here, the prophet said, this is the only way you'll ever be redeemed. When these seals come open. Amen. When did the seals come open? Was this revealed at the same time? Amen. Amen. Glory. Is this when he got it? Yes. Did God did God come to the earth Amen. and give the prophet this message? Amen. And the people will not have it. You believe that? Now, it's another covenant. One male, many females. I'm going to read this, and if people want to joke about it, God have mercy on you. The words of our prophet. One buck deer, a whole herd of does. And every one of you know that's the truth. One bull, a whole herd of cows. One rooster, a yard full of hens. One David after his own heart with 500 wives. 
with a hundred children born to him in one year of different women. Amen. A man after God's own heart. Amen. One Solomon with a thousand wives. But notice now, it wasn't so at the beginning. It's now. The woman done this, then she just become what she is right now. Amen. Amen. And what do women say? Why did he do that? Why are you doing it? Amen. The Bible said the word had been laid before you just like it was before Eve. Amen. And she went with the devil instead of listening to God's word. Amen. What are they going to listen to this day? Oh, it's a lot easier to listen to what the devil says. You don't have to listen to this. Edward Gallimore didn't write this. Edward Gallimore did not make this up. And all of you that's been sitting here all these years and heard me preach this. Line up, line up, line up. Because one day you won't be able to. Amen. That's right. Amen. How scary is that? Amen. What does it mean to us? Did we even take one step forward at all to say, the women looking here say, this is where I belong. Glory. Now have they determined, I'll never do it. I can't help what God said. I'm going to be what I want to be. I'm going to act like I want to act. It scares me now sitting here preaching this. It's different than it was before. Amen. Why? What would this message do to us? Amen. I believe we're up here close to going into the millennium. Amen. Amen. Glory. And the prophet said some even that what the Lord tells us. Even got in and sat down at that table. And I believe that prophet sat at that table. Amen. And refused to become that word. Amen. Because that is the garment that you would have on. Amen. Amen. And when it come that time, instead of going into the millennium, they went right into the tribulation period. Mm -hmm. And that prophet screamed, God have mercy on you. Mm -hmm. To go to a place like that. He said a burning fire would be a pleasure. Yeah. The torment that is going to hit. But did we even walk two steps forward and say, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. Or did we just have in our mind We'll keep coming here. We'll be coming here for years. We're still doing what we've always done. That shows you what not doing what you're supposed to. Amen. 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 That's right. The word. the word was put here to line up by, line up by, line up by. Amen. I wonder if we've done it. Glory. Because whether we accept it or not, it's fixing to go out here. Amen. Amen. And this message, the prophet said, is for the bride. That third pull. Amen. But it's going to be to the rest of the world. Amen. Amen. Glory. Thank you, Lord. What do you mean by being for the bride? They'll hear this and look say, I'm men, I know I'm in because I have lived this word. I've done exactly what he told me to do, Amen. so I'm in. Or that's the message now saying, condemn me. Amen. How pitiful Amen. to have somebody to scream like he's had all these years. Amen. I don't know if you feel what I feel right now or not. Listen close. David. The key, which represented Christ. Hold that in your mind. Represented Christ. Do you believe that? Christ is going to sit on his throne. And this David, a man after God's own heart, had 500 wives. See what I mean? David was 500. Solomon was 1,000. And Solomon is the son of David in the natural, which represents Jesus Christ, the son of David, in the spiritual. But that's natural sex life. This is going to be spiritual, created life. That's what we're going back to. Amen. Amen. That's the way it was at the beginning, but not now in this life we live in. Amen. Amen. Right. This is not my word. I hope you hear me. Because I feel something now different than I ever have when I preach this. Amen. Glory. What were we hearing all in here? Lie up with it. Amen. Amen. But did we do it? Glory. What are we hear now? Notice, don't fail this. Take it all down to your heart. But not one of those women could even have one more husband. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. 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 Right. Lord. Your own husband is what he said. Not one of them could have one more husband. Listen close. He's the original creation, not her. 
This is God's word, not mine. Amen. Amen. Not one of those women could have one more husband. But that one husband could have a thousand wives. That's thus that said the Lord. That's the Bible. Amen. Amen. That's right. Not the Old Testament, the Bible. Amen. Oh, you say it right down below. He said, Oh, you say that was just for Israel. He said, Is it? Amen. That's what they're hollering now. Amen. I've had them tell me on the telephone and call them in everything. That was for the people back then. Not in this day. And if some people are saying to condemn people that's in the organization where the women dress like a man and all that because that was found in the Old Testament. And they'll say, yeah, but God's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Then when it comes to this, they start backing up. Amen. That's not a child of God. Amen. That's not a real servant of God. Amen. If God calls a man, he's going to back up. Amen. Amen. That's right. And what did he say on choosing the right on page 21? All of them 500 women was David's one wife. Amen. Amen. Right. So that's how I can be a minister and live this word. You married women that's never had another husband. Amen. Are you listening? Lord. Then you got one wife. Amen. That's right. Not three or four or five or a thousand wives. Amen. You might have that many women, but you got one wife. Amen. The Father said, just like Christ, he got thousand times thousand, making up the bride. Yes. But it's just one bride, not thousands of brides. Amen. Amen. That message was put here for a reason. And I'm going to stop there, because I know I'm done over about, well, two or three minutes. But can I read one more thing? And come back in here the next time, and I'm going to start right here again. I'm going to finish this because I got so much stuff right here backing it up. This is God's word, not my idea. Amen. Right. And as I said, the thing I'm liking now, I know what's going out here, and I know that He is going to prove to the world where He's been all the time. Amen. Amen. And it ain't in every little group that says, I believe where you're right. Amen. right. I believe that message. Because the prophet said, just like in the days of Moses, there was man with him that felt the earth shake. Amen. Amen. Saw the pillar of fire. But failed to hear the voice that followed all that. Amen. Amen. Right. Glory. Did that prophet go around the world doing the work of the evangelist? Was God there in that pillar of fire backing him up, confirming it? Yes. But look how many now has missed the voice that came in this day we're living in. Amen. Amen. The prophet said, First Adam and Eve, type the second Adam and Eve. See the multiplications? The multiplication of Adam and Eve was through sex to replenish the earth. It wasn't so at the beginning. God just made a male and a female. Like he did other creatures. Legal, just like the church. I wanted to add that part in there. And I'll turn this down in the next service. And all of you, right here on this next page, I'll fire you up for the next service. She's got a living husband. No man can marry her. I don't care what she does. But it's not stated again the man to remarry. Amen. Right here it is, preachers. Amen. I'm firing it up for the next service. He can remarry, remarry, remarry. As long as it's not somebody else's wife. Amen. Amen. That's right. So I'm going to start there. Then if you have got anything that you think is true, that condemn what I'm preaching, then the message is out there and the challenges fall of you. Amen. Lord. You're not challenging me, you're challenging the world. Amen. Amen. Here's where I stand at. Now let's see what happens. Amen. God bless you until the next service. Amen. Amen.